In 20 years from now, uh, researchers predict that half of Denmark's new jobs will be out of companies we don't have today. At DGU, we ensure this process and we play a role in building bridges between new technology and people through innovation. In fact, since 1999, DTU has fostered over 2,000 new businesses. The scientists at DTU are generally minded for entrepreneurship, but quite naturally, they often lack the uh, insight for what's required to bring a product all the way to the market. So, while the scientific idea might be correct, the industrial application should perhaps be entirely different and you need the insight from industry people to work alongside you at a very early stage. A very good example of this is No Briner, which is a spin-out from DTU that started as a project in a student entrepreneurship course, it's called Hot Tech Entrepreneurship, back in the spring of 2018. We work with Managing Brine, a byproduct from the desalination process when producing safe drinking water from saline water sources. Our project is spun out from Little Dane, a Danish company focusing on green energy solutions. We met through a tech course here at DTU, and we hope that we can create a business that could be interesting for big Danish companies in the future energy and water industry. In high-tech innovations, it's really best to have the parties involved and meeting at a level playing field. We tend to say that high-tech entrepreneurship is a context board.